What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I got some new news concerning Gennady Golovkin. It seems like Gennady Golovkin will join Eddie Hearn in the zone. It is rumored that he is tempted to, to sign a two-fight deal uh, for $20 million, so that's approximately $10 million a piece. You know, it hasn't been set in stone yet, but that's looks like that's where Golovkin looks like he's going to reside, especially if he wants the third Canelo fight, because of course we all know Canelo is on the zone and he signed his big $365 million deal with the zone. So if uh, Gennady Golovkin decides to take this deal, the two fight deal, it'll line up right with the, um, <clears throat> the fight that he desires to fight with uh, Canelo Alvarez. And, you know, he's been looking at PBC, ESPN, you know, and I think the fights that they wanted him to have, I think that it's not even enough or it's too many fights. Because you remember, guys, Gennady Golovkin is uh, 36 years old. He'll be 37 soon, you know. So if it's time for him to shine and have that last fight with Canelo Alvarez, this is the time to do it. Two fights seems bearable for him. You know, everyone knows my opinion about Gennady Golovkin. He should retire, but then again, what type of shape is he really in? Is he in Vladimir Klitschko shape that he can fight till 40 or, you know, or what? You know, so it looks like the deal could be made um, pretty quickly. Uh, the news has been out. My sources has told me that this deal looks like it's going to be the right deal for Gennady Golovkin. It, it's, it's just only right for Golovkin to sign with the zone simply because that's where all the middleweights are anyway. You got Andre with uh, the WBO. You have uh, Canelo with the WBA. I mean, you know, with the WBA, the WBC. You know, of course, you have Danny Jacobs with the IBF. So, you know, and all of these guys fight on the zone. You know what I mean? So if he joins the zone, that'll be another fighter along with Usyk to join the zone along with uh, Anthony Joshua that's been there. He could fight on any platform, but mostly, you know, a lot of his uh, stock and trade is with the zone. So it's on with the zone, guys. I'm trying to tell you the streaming services are the way to go. Bob Arum stated it himself with ESPN Plus that um, the Terrence Crawford fight did really well. Over 400,000 paper, oh, I was about to say pay-per-view buys, but 400,000 buys, streaming buys, and viewers have been on that particular fight for Terrence Crawford. So this shows you guys that streaming services are the way of the future. You know, Gennady Golovkin, I thought that he would go to the, with the zone anyway, especially if he intends to fight in Canelo Alvarez a third final time, hopefully. Okay. And he's going to get his belts back. So why not? You know, this is the route to take. This is, um, it, it, it's a lucrative deal, you know, with two fights, $20 million. You can't really beat that. You know what I mean? So, anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Gennady Golovkin signing with Eddie Hearn in the zone. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.